Yo, what is up YouTube? I'm Blitz5 and I'm playing Doom again. So I figured I would post this gameplay commentary of this awesome footage I have on this map. I wish I knew the name of it, but I don't. And I'm using the sniper rifle, which is called the Vortex rifle in this game and a shotgun setup. This is one of the default classes, but I've enjoyed using it a lot. Um, I'll get to why I'm posting this video and what the point of it is, I guess, because uh, you know I haven't been posting a lot of Doom stuff in a second, but I figured I would just walk through this gameplay kind of talk about the game and my thoughts on it and all that stuff kind of make it casual because I'm just in that kind of mood right now um, so like I was saying this is one of the default setups in the game you can make a class like uh, a Call of Duty type game or anything like that which is definitely like new to this kind of series usually you're picking up the weapons as you're running around in like a Doom Unreal or like Quake game old school 90s or 2000s shooter early 2000s I should say but in this game They've succumbed to the new generation. Nice headshot there on that guy. Appreciated that. It's hard to snipe in this game. I just want to put that out there as an FYI for anybody watching this video. It's super hard to snipe because of everybody's movement speed. And it doesn't do a lot of damage unless you're charged up. So you have to charge up the sniper rifle, try to go for the head, and be accurate. So all that stuff is pretty difficult. But I take a lot of reward out of doing that. And even though not a lot of people snipe in this game... I think it's fun to do it. It's really fun to kind of just blow people up and get some nice headshots and some nice um, highlight clips in the game. Just rewarding. And then you can sneak up behind people and blow them away with the shotgun. So like I said, this is the default class. It also comes with a teleporter, which is cool. Instead of using a grenade, I can throw this thing down and I can reactivate it and teleport there. So you can do some really cool trick plays where you can kind of throw it at somebody and then you're shooting them. And if you're almost dead, you can actually teleport behind them shoot them in the back or if someone's chasing you you can like throw it to another area and teleport there and escape or there's there's a lot of mind games you can play with a teleporter and i think it's cool that this is one of the default classes and uh i don't i really like this map too i don't know the name of it i haven't been totally paying attention to everything in this game i don't know the names of like everything i just fell in the lava there i have no idea what i'm doing i just hop on and play and i really enjoy this game it's a lot of fun and something i wanted to talk about regarding that is the video I posted a couple weeks ago, well actually almost a month now, which was on June 22nd, I wrote, I posted a video and I wrote, is Doom Multiplayer Dead? Well, that was the title. And in that video, I went through the game and I showed like the issues with loading up the game. Um, for anybody that hasn't seen that video or doesn't know, when you play Doom Multiplayer, you actually have to reload multiplayer screen. So turn on the game on Xbox, the game loads up, you're get to the main menu then to play multiplayer you have to literally reload to 100 just to play multiplayer so to me i think that's kind of crazy it's kind of annoying when you just want to hop on and play that you have to do this like double loading screen and it sounds like maybe i'm being a baby and like why am i complaining but sometimes it actually takes a while like it might take another like five minutes to load sometimes it only takes one minute and sometimes it i've been waiting for like 10 minutes i don't know if something's up with the xbox and it takes 10 minutes for it to load the multiplayer so to me, it's just kind of crazy. And then I showed kind of the problems with the lobby system and it made me question the community of the game. Um, but it seems like since I've hopped on and played Doom more, that they've actually fixed the lobby system. So now if you're sitting in a queue, it will actually just form a party. So even like, I think most team deathmatch and most games are 6v6. Um, but if you're in a game, a lobby with eight people, it automatically make a 4v4 game. And then after a while, the game will just start. And then people will join in. And then from there, you can keep going as a 6v6 kind of group. Um, so that's good because you get into the game a little bit faster. You don't, you're not just sitting in the lobby, which is what I was complaining about, waiting forever until you have the perfect amount of 6v6. And then a couple of my friends got on, which makes the game even better when you're playing with your friends. Blitz 5 and friends, that's what my YouTube page is all about. And we even played some other gameplay, other, uh, what is it? Game styles, game types. And people were in them playing, so it's a lot of fun. And I want to say that, you know, was I wrong with this? Well, let me say first, I just picked up this gun. So this is like, again, I don't know the name of it. Uh, it's like this blue laser. It's a one-shot kill. So this is a lot of fun to use because you can just like blow people away. And the enemy team has a demon here, which takes a lot. It has like a ton of health. And it does like a lot of damage to it, like just hitting it once or twice there. So it's a nice weapon, but I got blown up anyways. But, you know, I don't want to say I was necessarily wrong by posting that video, but I feel bad for posting that video because I wasn't supporting the Doom community at all by making that. I was kind of just like hating on the game when 
I've been really enjoying the game, and everything, you know, the game looks good, it plays good. I enjoyed the single player, but I'm, I'm more of a multiplayer guy anyways. But I think by making that video, just questioning whether it was dead or not was kind of like a negative impact on my page, and like 200 people saw that video. Um, but it's true, I mean, it's, it's being honest and accurate, but I wish I supported the game a little bit more and made some videos saying like Doom is awesome, because it really is. And I plan on playing it a lot more, which is why I wanted to post this video here. Um, I know a lot of people, I think a lot of my close friends and people that watch any of my videos aren't really playing Doom. Some people don't even have an Xbox One. But, well, first of all, I wish they did. But this game is really awesome. It's really a throwback to like the 1990s, early 2000s. I forget if I said that early in the video, but it's really a throwback to those FPS games. And it's just a lot of fun. And at first, I was confused of whether that was worth someone's $60. I, w I thought it was worth it, but I, I couldn't recommend it to a friend. But now that I've played it more and realized how like other people also find it fun, I think that it's worth anybody's $60. So if you're on the fence about buying it, I definitely would check it out. If you're on Xbox, definitely add me and I'll play. And uh, I'll probably be streaming this more so you guys can check it out. I really enjoy playing this game, especially with this setup with a sniper rifle. So as always, I'm Blitz5. Thank you for watching this video and peace out.